Hello fellow investors, Joe here. It is time to talk about your favorite stock and mine, Tesla. I'm going to go over the latest uh, technical analysis ideas that I have. And this is a really important week because on Wednesday the third quarter earnings report comes out which potentially could be a big catalyst either to the upside or the downside. Let's talk about that over the next few minutes. So before me you see, on your screen, you see the one year Tesla chart. And you see uh, about a nine month base. And this is a classic VCP pattern. That's a term that Mark Minervini um, came up with, volatility contraction pattern. Basically the oscillations contract and then it breaks out. And that's exactly what happened. So you see the steep sell off corresponding with the general market, um, the stealth market correction, and it, Tesla fell about 40%, rebounded, fell about 30%, rebounded, fell about 11%, 11%, 7%. So the volatility is contracting, and then we had a fairly tight little ledge here, and then a breakout, and then the last couple weeks here, we had this really nice tight high cap, uh, which was really, this was great price action. And in fact, in my last video, I mentioned that I set a buy stop at 801, and it proved to be a really good buy point. So that's in the past. The question is, what do we do now? Well, obviously it's your money, and you need to make your own investment decisions but stocks in general when they run up prior to earnings then we often see a sell the news event and if you look at um, here's the last three earnings reports see these vertical lines so if we look here um, the earnings report pretty much marked the all-time high didn't it this was in February of 2021. In May, actually late April, uh, we saw a run up to earnings and then a big sell off, although um, tech stocks were very weak during this time. Then the last quarter, we saw the announcement and a run up. So that doesn't tell us anything, does it? But we, we have to weigh the benefits and the risks. Um, obviously, Tesla's looking pretty extended from 800, isn't it? So it would make, it seems to me that the odds are that we run up a little bit more to earnings on Wednesday and then we see a sell the news event. Not a big event, but maybe two or three or four percent of a decline um, post earnings. So personally, I'm not buying any more until after earnings come out. And I'm actually kind of hoping that we do see a little sell-off on earnings and a retouch of the 8-day average, which is this blue line, or the 21-day average, in which case that could be our last opportunity to buy shares before Tesla threatens 900. So, yeah, in conclusion, Tesla um, technically is, is really doing fantastic. There is... Um, <laughs> Why am I pausing? I'm just thinking. There's a very good chance if the general market continues to improve that we see a, a run on 900 really in the next um, few weeks, I think, and a thousand um, by the year. If you look at the volume, here's the last thing. Um, you'll notice that the buy vol volume bars are higher than the sell volume bars. That shows accumulation. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you got something out of it, I would really appreciate it if you liked and or subscribed to the channel. This is a brand new channel, and not many people have seen my videos yet, and you liking the videos will help uh, get the message out. So good luck investing, and I'm excited to see what happens on Thursday after the Q3, rep Q3 report. Good luck, everybody.